Hello FPV pilots, I bought this Cinelog 35 V2 from Gap RC because it can carry a full GoPro on 3.5 inch, what is pretty amazing and still achieve consistent flight times around 4 to 5 minutes if you fly indoors on 6S. So I don't have to buy new batteries because all my quads fly on 6S, but is this still the worth the price of 600 euros? I will answer all your questions today. My name is Wall FPV. I fly drones for almost six years and I want to turn my FPV hobby into a profession. So if you want to support me, I would be happy about a follow or a like. So let's start the video. So as I have already said, this thing can carry a full GoPro. So you don't have to destroy your GoPro to build a naked version but this means you have to carry more weight and this can drastically reduce your flight times. If we put the Cinelog 35 on the wagon, then it has a weight of 305 grams without a 6S LiPo. If we put on a LiPo, in my case I use a Tattoo Airline V4 1300 milliamps LiPo, we get a total weight of 528 grams. I think this is okay for a Cinehoop. But if we screw the GoPro onto it, we get a weight of 465 grams without a LiPo. If I now put on the exact same LiPo as before, we get a total weight of 690 grams, what is quite heavy for 3.5 inch. So how does this affect the flight time? I've already shot a commercial video with the Synlog 35 for a gym and we did a one take video which means you need long flight times. The shot you can see here is stabilized in post with real steady, so you got that smooth look. Within four different one take flights, I always had flight times over four minutes without the battery running out. Of course, you have to bear in mind that I had the best conditions indoor because you don't have any wind affecting the cine hoop and I only flew slow and cinematic. What brings me to the next point. I was really impressed how this cine hoop can carry a full GoPro and capture smooth videos. The reason for this is the pre-tuning in Betaflight, which is made by GapRC themselves. And there are two different presets you can choose. You can find the pre-tunings under pit tuning in Betaflight. If you select profile one, you got the tuning for 6S and without the GoPro. This means you would capture your footage with the O3 air unit itself. You can find a second tuning if you select Profile 2. As you can see here, this one is especially for 6S with a GoPro mounted on the Cinehoop, like I did in the uh, gym commercial. So if you buy one, don't forget to change your pit tunings if you want to fly with your GoPro to pit tuning profile number two. If you like the video so far, I would really appreciate a like or even a follow and support me to turn my hobby into a profession. The only negative thing about the Synlog 35 is the volume level. This thing is a combination of a vacuum cleaner and hair dryer in terms of volume. I know it's normal for cine hoops to be loud, but it still should be mentioned and it generates a lot of air turbulences like you can see here. So the last thing I want to talk about is the design and functionality. They really nailed it. The camera is completely damped, so there are no vibrations in the image if you want to record with the O3 Air unit, for example. And the prop guards are also very stable and can't break easily. So to answer the question, if this cine hoop is worth it, I would say yes, absolutely. If you want to shoot professional indoor videos with a GoPro and don't want to build a naked version, this is the right one. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you got any open questions, just write me a comment and I will answer it. Fly safe. Peace.